we've seen the groups of statements can be divided into arguments and non-arguments. And we've also seen that arguments can be further divided into deductive arguments and inductive arguments. What we'll look at today is further investigation into deductive arguments and inductive arguments, how to determine how strong they are, how strong those inferences are. So with deductive arguments, we want to use the terms valid and invalid. These are terms that are specific to deductive arguments. We're also gonna use the terms sound and unsound. So what is a valid deductive argument? A valid deductive argument follows our original definition of deductive arguments. It's an argument in which it is impossible that the conclusion is false if we assume the premises are true. So to determine whether an argument is valid or invalid, if it's already known to be deductive, we would say, if we assume the premises to be true, then is it impossible that the conclusion is false? If that is the case, then it will be a valid deductive argument. If it is not the case, that it is impossible that the conclusion is false, if it is possible that the conclusion is false, still using necessary reasoning, then that argument will be considered invalid. And by the way, also unsound. So let's take a look at an example of this. If we test an argument for validity that we already know is deductive, we want to assume all the premises are true, and then we determine if it's possible in light of that assumption that the conclusion is false. So if I said all television networks are media companies, NBC is a television network, Therefore, NBC is a media company. I could show rather quickly that if I'm looking at all television networks or media companies, then TV networks are within the category of media companies. If I wanted to draw this out in order to help me. And if I said, NBC is a television network. Therefore, NBC is a media company. I can immediately tell just from my diagram that this is a deductive argument and that it is valid. It's impossible for the conclusion to be false if I assume the premises are true. And here, I, I didn't even really have to think about assuming that the premises are true because it's easy, they are true. It is true that all television networks are media companies and that NBC is a television network. But when I'm determining validity, I don't need to know whether these are true. I just need to assume that they're true in order to compare the strength of the premises to the conclusion. So once I've done that, what I want to do is determine whether or not my deductive argument is sound or unsound. When determining whether an argument is sound or unsound, it requires something more than just assuming that the premises are true. At this point, we want to determine whether they actually are true. So I'm gonna draw a green line here that says, reality versus assumption. So here, in order to determine whether a deductive argument is valid or invalid, we begin by assuming that the premises are true. And based on that assumption, we determine whether or not it's impossible that the conclusion is false. But after that, a valid deductive argument could be sound or unsound. If the premises are actually true in reality, the way that we thought they might be when we assumed them, then the argument is sound. 
if they are not true in reality the way that we thought they were when we assumed them, then it is unsound. All, again, invalid deductive arguments are automatically unsound. <laughs>